Number patterns. Question 6. Input output number pattern. A. Complete the table below. B. Describe the input output pattern. C. Write the pattern rule in two different ways. D. Find the 10th and 50th term. So here is the input output pattern. Input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Output 3, 5, 7, 9. You need to fill this up. Correct? And you can see the pattern. It is going up by 2's and you can easily fill it up. So complete the table is easy. Now describe input output pattern is to describe how do you get 5 from 2. If the input is 1, how do you get output of 3? If input is 3, how do you get output of 7? This is the most difficult question in this set of 4 questions. I would like you to answer these questions, right? All of them. Copy the table and answer these questions. Here are some hints to do them, right? And let me go through C also. Write the pattern rule in two different ways. So you can write any pattern rule. You can write pattern rule for inputs, going up by 1. Pattern rule for output, going up for 2's. And pattern rule from input to output. Input to output. Which is same as part B. And the last question is, find 10th and 50th term. So for finding 10th and 50th term, you can write 10 terms here or even 50. Go on the list. And another way is to use your input output formula, which will help you to do it, right? Now, here is how you can do the question. First is, see how do you get the next term of the output. So, from 3 to 5, how do you get to 5? If I add 2, I get 5, right? 5 to 7 plus 2. Do you see that? So that means that getting the next term is possible by adding 2, right? Adding 2. Adding 2. That means plus 2 each time. You start at 3, add 2 each time, get the next term, right? That is how you can get outputs, right? So that's an easy pattern rule. But how to relate 3 to 7, 2 to 5, and 1 to 3. That is difficult. The key here is with the number 2 itself. I will show you how. That is the critical part of these number patterns. What is 3 times 2 equals to? Let's do it. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. But what do I need? I need from 3, I need 7. So from 6, how will I get 7? Plus 1. Plus 1 gives me 7. Got it. Got it. Let's do 4. What is 2 times 4? Or 4 times 2? So we'll multiply this number by 2 and then add 1. Do we get 9? Let's check. 4 times 2 equals to 8 plus 1 equals to 9. Yes, we do. So this works. This works, right? So the formula or to describe the input-output pattern is... Whatever the number is, multiply by 2. Times 2 plus 1. Do you see? So what are we doing? We are doing times 2 and then plus 1. Right? That is how we will get our rule. And therefore, pattern rule is output equals to input times 2 plus 1. So that becomes our pattern rule, right? And this is how we are going to describe input-output pattern. Do you see that? And how are we getting 10th and 50th term? We'll use this. We'll use this same formula. So for 10th term, it will be 10 times 2 plus 1. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 plus 1, 21. For 50th term, 50 times 2 plus 1. 50 times 2 is 100. 100 plus 1, 101. So we get both our answers. Do you see? So i like you to now answer each question yourself in a nice way. Okay? Thank you and all the best.